हेलो वॉचर एंड सब्सक्राइबर टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज सम ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर यूजिंग फॉर लू सो फॉर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस टास्क वी विल सिंपली यूज द फॉर लू एंड ही आर अवर सीरीज इज लाइक दैट वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री अप टू एन बिकॉज ही आर द लास्ट नंबर इज नॉट फिक्स सपोज ओके सो इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई एम इंटरेस्टेड टू शो यू हाउ इट विल कैलकुलेट द सम ऑफ फर्स्ट थ्री नंबर सपोज ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन कैलकुलेट द सम ऑफ फर्स्ट फोर फर्स्ट फाइव अप टू एन okay so first you should understand the logic here and straight away this is the program also so here i am interested to find the sum of first three number so that's why here i have written number equal to 3 suppose you are interested to find out the sum of first five number you have to write five then sum equal to 0 why it is 0 that you will get to know later on then for loop is important start with 1 i less than equal to number because our last number variable value is 3 and here i plus plus means each iteration it is incremented by 1 so here i is 1 means first number is 1 less than equal to 3 because we want the sum of first three number and then i equal to i plus 1 that is the meaning of i plus plus so because in each here if you see the difference between 1 and 2 there is a 1 and here after 2 it is incremented by 1 so the next number is 3 that's why here it is i plus plus next the actual logic is sum equal to sum plus i where the value of sum is 0 and each time i value is changing by 1 in first iteration it is 1 then second iteration it is 2 so how it is working out here the i value is now 1 so 1 less than equal to 3 it is true so it will run this step so in the step 1 friend what will happen sum equal to sum plus y that is our logic so sum equal to 0 because the sum value is initialized with 0 and i value is 1 so final value of sum will become 1 okay then after that i value is incremented by 1 that is i value will be 2 so we are in the second iteration you can say second step and here our logic is same but here sum equal to 1 plus 2 because our value is change 1 and we are in the second i step that is our value is 2 you can say second iteration value 1 plus 2 so it will be now 3 then after that again the value of i is incremented by 1 so next value will be 3 3 less than equal to 3 condition is true so what about the step 3 or the third iteration again we have same logic sum equal to sum value is change that is 3 and we are in the third iteration and the value of i is 3 so 3 plus 3 is 6 and again the value of i is updated that is 4 but here condition becomes false because 4 less than equal to number and number value is 3 so once the condition is false the loop will exit and after that it will print the updated value of sum and it is now 6 so i hope you understood this case so here we have written sum equal to sum plus i and sum value is 0 so that our logic will be implemented like that every time this step is repeated sum equal to sum plus i it is repeated 3 time and that's why we have written this step okay so that the reason we are getting the answer 6 if you want the sum of first four number here you write 4 and remaining logic will be same if you want the sum of first five number here you have to write five so here the important logical statement is sum equal to sum plus i because every time the i value is changing like 1 2 3 and we need to store that value in the sum variable so now we will go in the eclipse for the execution of program so here i am in eclipse friend and in advance i have already written the code because in presentation i already explained the coding so that the reason i have decided not to waste my time for writing the code and here the output will be 6 how the 6 is coming that you already understood and once you change that value then your output will be varied because now it is calculating the sum of first seven number and here your answer is 28 so in this way if you change the number the answer will be different because it is implemented implemented by using this logic how it is implemented that we have seen in the presentation so i suggest you you have to write this code and then your logic will be perfect and uh, you can understand this concept also so thanks for watching this video thank you